This procedure will provide general instructions for the installation of the fuel filler cup. This will prevent fuel from splashing back on the inside cover of the bus and getting into the flooring. This is a trim cover that fills the area around the fuel fill spout. Let's get started. The parts listed are required for this procedure and can be purchased from the Carolina Thomas Parts Department and will ship for free. Before beginning, you will need to thoroughly clean the work area with an alcohol-based cleaner. The first step in the removal procedure is to remove the door and trim ring. This is done by drilling out the rivets. First, pre-punch the rivets to create a starting point. Then, drill all of the rivets out using a drill bit large enough to remove the rivet. Once the trim ring and door are removed, the area where the door and trim ring were needs to be cleaned of grime and fuel. An alcohol-based cleaner will work fine for this task. Next, remove the strap for the fuel cap and remove the fuel cap. The next step is to see if the fuel cup fits. On some buses, the opening may be big enough that the cup will be able to be put in and mount flush to the side of the bus. If not, the opening will have to be made larger. This can be done by using an air die grinder. Before using the die grinder, you will need to mark an estimated area to cut using a sharpie. Remember, the opening only has to be big enough for the cup to slide in, so you may open the hole with the grinder a little at a time. Place a clean rag over the fuel spout opening to prevent sparks and trash from entering the spout. Slowly work your way around the opening evenly with the grinder. When you have finished expanding the opening, be sure to recover any bare metal. This is easily done with a small amount of paint and a Q-tip. Now that the cup is fit into place, you will mark the four new holes that are to be drilled. Make sure that the cup is lined up correctly and looks as level as possible. Once marked, remove the cup and drill out the holes with a 1764th inch or equivalent drill bit. Once drilling is complete, apply a bead of Manus Bond completely around the base of the fuel filler cup. This will act as a gasket to keep fuel from getting between the cup and the bracket. Now, slide the cup back into place. Line the holes up and install the rivets. The next step will be to install the door. There are pilot indentions on the right side of the filler cup that signify where you will need to drill for the door hinge. This will be done with a 1764th inch or equivalent drill bit. With the holes drilled, line the hinge up with the holes ensuring that the hinge is open in the right direction. Install quarter inch brake mandrel rivets to hold the hinge in place. Close the door once it has been attached to verify proper alignment. Now you will install the two bumpers on the opposite side of the hinge using the existing pilot indentions. You will need to drill the indentions out with a quarter inch drill bit. Then install the rubber stoppers. Install the latch pocket on the inside of the cup. Fill the remaining holes with Manus Bond to create a seal and protect the uncovered metal on the inside from corrosion problems. Finally, reattach the fuel filler cap and verify that everything is properly installed.
That wraps up this segment. For more information on the fuel filler cup installation, visit the Carolina Thomas website at www.carolinathomas.com. Thanks for watching.